Sex and the City fans were left in disbelief as they learned that Sarah Jessica Parker and Cynthia Nixon worked together on another TV project 16 years before landing leading roles in the HBO series. The pair played best friends on SATC, but back in the 80s they landed roles as sisters in the 1982 TV movie, My Body, My Child, starring Vanessa Redgrave. They played the daughters of Vanessa's Catholic character in the movie, who fell pregnant again and was debating whether to have an abortion after learning her unborn child will have disabilities. A screenshot from the movie reappeared on fan account, every outfit on Sex and the City, as they quipped, be nice to your colleagues, people. You may still be working with them 39 years later. With die hard fans of the pair only knowing Sarah and Cynthia for their roles as Carrie Bradshaw and Miranda Hobbs in Sex and the City, respectively, they went into meltdown in the comments. Shocked fans bend, this has literally blown my mind. Um, wow. Too cool. So sweet, heart, what, sick. Go Gaga for gingham like Sarah Jessica Parker in Norma Kamali Norma Kamali vintage gingham pleated skirt sex and the city style by now Sarah Jessica Parker looked playfully chic next to her sex and the city co-stars, donning a vintage Norma Kamali skirt and maintaining her reputation as a fashion aficionado. This voluminous number comes in a flared silhouette, and it's cut with a high-rise waist contouring seams and defining inverted pleats that effortlessly accentuate her frame. She teamed this gingham check design with a neutral top before elevating her look with chunky Mary Jane pumps. They lent edge to the demure midi-length proportions, for a punkish glam rock look. It's a yes from us, not that she needs our approval. She's like a byword for fashion after all. While her exact skirt isn't so easy to track down, we've been busy pulling our favorite alternatives that you can shop right now using the carousel below. Our edit includes a frilly ganny number, which is available to shop at the Outnet, and a tiered design from Mango. It's time to join the Glam Squad. Mail Online may earn commission on sales from these product links. Now get one like it previous next £180 Ganny ruffled trimmed skirt at the Outnet, now reduced to £54, buy now £175 me plus M gingham checked deared skirt buy now £49. 99 mango ruffle tiered skirt, now reduced to £29. 99, buy now 350 pounds shrimp stromp leal gingham skirt buy now however, Cynthia herself first brought up the fact back in 2018, when a Brazilian fan site tweeted a picture of the fresh faced pair on screen. Cynthia playfully responded, yes that's me on the right at Brazil underscore Nixon, age 15, but can anyone guess who the girl in the middle is playing my sister? Another fun fact Vanessa Redgrave played our mother. Running from 1998 to 2004, Sex and the City was an immensely popular series focusing on the love and sex lives of 430-something New York City women. Alongside Sarah and Cynthia was Kristen Davis as Charlotte York Goldenblatt and Kim Cattrall, who played promiscuous PR agent Samantha Jones. The women have been filming the upcoming Satk revival and just like that in New York, with the exception of Kim, who chose not to join the project. Kim, 64, made it clear that she had no intention of coming back to any new iteration of the franchise, after a highly publicized and long-standing feud between herself and Sarah. The new incarnation of the show, renamed and just like that, will run for 10 episodes on HBO. The network's chief content officer, Casey Bloys, reflected on Samantha's exit, saying, just as in real life, people come into your life, people leave. 
friendships fade and new friendships start. For Kim and Sarah, it seems the friendship did not fade but was never there to begin with. Explaining why she would not return, Kim said in 2019, it's a no from me. You learn lessons in life and my lesson is to do work with good people and try and make it fun. The previous year, their frosty relationship played out on social media after the death of Kim's brother Chris. When SJP sent her condolences online, Golden Globe winner Kim thought the sentiment was disingenuous and boasted, My mom asked me today, when will that Sarah Jessica Parker? Dot. Leave you alone? Your continuous reaching out is a painful reminder of how cruel you really were then and now. SJP has denied a feud, saying she had never uttered an unkind, unsupportive, unfriendly word. Down to three, SJP has denied a feud, saying she had never uttered an unkind, unsupportive, unfriendly word, pictured with her co-stars on the show.